Hey guys, Director John Finger here. And since my last video, I've gotten some questions from programmers about using Xens to animate characters within Unity. Uh, so, I'm no Unity pro, but I thought I'd try it out and see how easy it is. It's pretty easy. Uh, the first thing I did is I grabbed a character from Autodesk Character Generator. And you can choose any character on here. You'll be able to modify all kinds of things like hair and, and outfit. So we'll just swap out one of these outfits. So then you can say finish. Uh, we're going to say cancel because we've actually already done this. Okay. And so there you can see our character we've generated. And then you actually, to export, you got to say generate character. There will be a little icon down here. And you can choose Unity FBX, and that's what we chose. So now this, this character is ready to export, and all we have to do is click download, and that character will download to our computer. Uh, then, of course, we want to apply a animation to that character within Unity. So we're going to put on the outfit, and the Awinda is what the uh, Xens suit we're using today, uh, and we are going to do a little motion capture, so I'll show you that process. All right, so now that we've got this entire setup on here, uh, we're gonna say new recording session. And we're gonna pop this open. You can see it's starting to detect on the side here uh, each of these uh, sensors. And if it's not detecting right away, you can get up and move around for a second. Uh, and it should be all there we go all set up and make sure you're set up for the Awinda if you're shooting with the Awinda and we'll go ahead and save this and we're gonna be looking a little wonky here because we haven't calibrated yet uh, so you can put in your measurements switch to calibration do end pose neutral pose uh, calibrate and then we'll tell it to start. We're gonna first oh I actually have to say hands off calibration because I'm doing this myself. Uh, I set it to six seconds so I have enough time to step away. Calibrate and then start. Should be good now. Make sure. Yep, looks like we're all calibrated. Say apply. Uh, so now we're good to go. We can go ahead and record now by hitting the little red button. And now we are recording. So I'm going to just do a little knife kill. Stop the recording, go ahead and save the file, then we will open, and then I'll switch to Cascade so I can just close the capture and focus on our what we actually got. So this is the file that we just recorded. And I like 
Looks like the second one's pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and grab that one. And then we can go to Options, Preferences, set up our FBX export settings the way we want them. Uh, we're gonna keep it at 60 frames, but we can also go down to 30 frames if we need to by going to uh, downsampling by one. And then, File, Export, Export File, and now we have our FBX that we can export and bring into Unity. So now that we're in Unity, I've set this up so that it's pretty easy to see where I am. I'm in the inspector, and here's my project over here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drag my character I just made in, robot girl with a skirt on, or dress, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the animation test that I most recently exported. And so I click the little arrow on the side to open up the FBX. Uh, I'm clicking on the animation and going up to edit. Uh, on the rig, I'm telling it to be a humanoid. And uh, applying that. And then on the character, I'm making that a humanoid as well. And now, if I open this, now you can see this animation. I also realized I didn't say export selected uh, on my, when I was doing the actual export. So that's why I'm getting the full animation here, which is kind of cool to see anyway, uh, see the full thing. So now you can see what it looks like on the generic human, but all we have to do is drag our character in right now, and suddenly our robot girl is showing you a tutorial on how to animate her. There we go. And then here is our actual knife kill. And if we want, we can pause that and go to our animation and set a section. So let's say what's that seven 705 to about 775, I think, is where we were. You can see that's actually showing it's a good loop match. Um, so we can loop this and we hit play. It's going to loop the animation. So there's a little knife kill animation. A little flick of the wrist. Now obviously you can do a lot more with this. You could do uh, mocap your cinematics. You could mocap your uh, jump animations or running animations, all kinds of things. And that's how you do it.